Hey guys, Amy here with Thieves for Wellness. I have been playing with some new technology today, trying to find the best way that I can get um, information out to you guys about some of the new products that came out at convention. And so um, I'm playing around with this. I hope it works. You have to give me some feedback. Let me know what you think, what you didn't like. I am currently hiding in my bedroom because I couldn't get this to work earlier when nobody was home. <laughs> and so now I've got the kiddo out there on the big computer. My husband's listening to the TV. At, you know, Mach 50, so I'm hiding in my bedroom, so sorry about the lighting on me. So as a lot of you know that follow me last week was the 2018 International Grand Convention for Young Living. The theme was freedom. Um, and so this is just a new product showcase to highlight the new really cool um, products that came out at convention this year. So the first one we're gonna talk about is Freedom Oil. This is one that I did bring home with me. So Freedom Essential Oil Blend, it was formulated by D. Gary Young to help people rise above life's challenges. Um, it was exclusive to the 2018 International Grand Convention. So I don't know that it will even be for sale um, later. I hope so, but you, you know, right now I don't know if it's gonna be available. It does promote feelings of emotional freedom and it's grounding and relaxing. So as they were showing us these, oh gosh, I really love this one. As they were showing us these um, products on the big screen at the at convention, um, I knew that I was going to order this one just by the ingredients. So this one has copaiba in it, sacred frankincense, Idaho blue spruce, blue spruce, vetiver, lavender, peppermint, palo santo, valerian, and rue. It's um, I love magical oils, man. Palo santo, sacred frankincense are right along the same lines. Um, vetiver is one that we use in our house all the time. It's a very calming oil. Um, lavender, copaiba, peppermint are all oils that I use every day anyways. So super excited to be able to have a bottle of the Freedom Blend. The next one is Journey On Essential Oil Blend. I did not buy this one, but I did get to smell it. Um, this one is a combination of 34 different Young Living blends. So pretty much it's a question of what is not in it. Um, it is released as a commemorative oil um, to honor the vision of D. Gary Young. Um, as many of you know, he passed away on May 12th from a series of strokes. And so this is the one, um, it's got his picture on there with his horse. And it's a very earthy, peppery, um, peppery scent. And um, so that's Journey On, one of our new oils. And then there's Kinzea. So Kinzea was one that I thought sounded really cool, but I didn't put it on my order because I was trying to stay in budget for young for a convention. And I really regret not ordering it. So it will be on my next order. Um, Kinzea, it, it has a clean, spicy, and woodsy scent, it says. Um, it helps soothe fatigued muscles, reduces the appearances of blemishes, and it purifies the air from unwanted odors. Kinzea, is um, sourced from little white flowers on the Kinsea tree plant shrub at um, that's in Tasmania. So it's a Tasmanian oil. Um, it is, it's a shrub. It has the same kind of properties as tea tree. So if you love what tea tree does for your skin or for whatever your other uses are for tea tree, but you're not a super fan of its scent, I would try Kinsea. It smells really good. It's just kind of a, it's it, woodsy. That's a perfect word for it. It's just kind of a super calming, um, nice smell. It does help soothe fatigue muscles. We tested that. Well, my friend tested that out because she stood in line for four hours to pick up our product on Friday. And so we were walking back to the car and she's like, hold on, let's try this. And she rubbed it on her legs and said that there was a significant difference. So also one that I would like to have I'm um, just to add to my after workout arsenal. So that is Kinzea, brand new oil. This diffusers. I love when they come out with new diffusers. And I've been with Young Living for like two and a half years now. And every year they come out with a better diffuser. So the one that came out in 2016 was the home diffuser. It's a really cute little white one that had the purple plastic insert. It looked like a rose. I love that diffuser. I have three of them. And then last year for convention, they came out with the Desert Mist Diffuser. It's the really pretty ivory with the gold accents. Um, it's a plastic one. 
It is the same base as this one, but this one is made out of metal and glass. It is beautiful. It um, has the same base as the Desert Mist, so it has 11 light settings. You can set it, when you first turn it on, the first setting is bright, then it dims a little bit, and then it does a candlelight flicker, and then it has a, um, you can press the button and it flips through all these different colors, like red, yellow, green, blue, purple, and it has one setting where it, it, it automatically rotates to the colors, which is kind of my favorite one to use. That and the candlelight flicker, the two I use a lot. The really cool things about these diffusers is that they have an intermittent function. So they can, you can put them on full blast and they put out and they'll run for like five to eight hours, which is really good. If you have it on the intermittent function, it's on and off every minute. So on for a minute, off for a minute, and it will last 10 to 11 hours, I found, um, on the intermittent setting. So these are um, some really cool diffusers that, um, that do lots of cool things. I'm super excited to get this one, except for it's glass. And I have a Sierra, but we'll see how that goes. The next thing that I was super excited to pick up at convention, and I definitely did pick it up at convention, is the KidSense Mighty Pro Prebiotic and Probiotic Supplement. So gut health is a big thing. We're doing more and more studies on it. Um, they even do, you know, poop transfers for people that have really bad illnesses like C. diff in their gut. I'm trying to get good bacteria. Um, in there to, to help with immune function, to help with um, our digestive system. I'm just super well known that we need to promote healthy bacteria in the gut. So there are more bacteria in our guts than there are cells in our entire body. Kind of gross if you're like a germaphobe, but that's just the way our bodies are. We're covered in bacteria on our skin, inside, especially our GI tract. So this is the first time that Young Living has come out with a probiotic supplement for kids. And it also has the prebiotic in there too. It comes in this yummy little packet. It um, looks just like this. This is it. It is um, a wolfberry punch flavor. Wolfberry because it is does have our Ningxia in it. It actually has Ningxia fibers in it that, um, that go through to the GI system and then they just hang out there and that's what the bacteria feed on, which is really cool. These do not require refrigeration, which is awesome because a lot of really good probiotics do require refrigeration. So this is super portable. Adults can take it too. Um, the way that Sierra likes to eat it is just like a pixie stick. So she opens it up, pours it on her tongue. It tastes really good. You can also put it in like juices or water or whatever, but like I said, she just likes to eat it straight. Um, kids, I have yet to see a kid that doesn't like it. They pulled a bunch of kids up on stage to try it. The only one that, that uh, made a face was a little dude. He was probably like one and a half. And I think it was a texture thing because he kept wanting more, but then he would like wipe it off his tongue. It was really cute. Um, but yeah, so that's the, the pixie stick prebiotic probiotic supplements and um, really cool. Glad that they, this was a much needed um, item for us to add. The next thing is icorn berries. So Einkorn is a type of ancient grain. It's something that Gary Young had searched the world for, trying to find some of the most original um, strains of wheat that he could find. And it, it, they're a lot different than modern wheat. Our modern wheat has been grown um, to have extra, I, I don't know if we want to call it DNA. It, it has, um, it's just been modified so much that it has a higher gluten content and it has like 43 or something crazy. Um, sets of DNA in it, whereas einkorn only has 12. So it's much easier to digest, um, something our bodies learned how to digest thousands of years ago. So these are einkorn berries. So when you are processing wheat and you um, get rid of the hulls, you're left with these little berries and that's what gets ground up into flour or whatever they're gonna do with the wheat. So this is just the raw berry. It is, um, I just ate it straight. I tried a couple, I have really bad, um, gluten sensitivities and I'm sensitive to wheat and pretty much every grain known to man. And so I was really surprised that I didn't have a reaction to this one at all. No issues at all. Um, it was, you know, they're just like kind of crunchy. It's just, you know, doesn't really have a whole lot of flavor, but it's, um, you can use them as, um, salads. You could, um, soak them like quinoa to make like a quinoa salad. You can use them for porridges. 
Um, since we've been home, I've seen people online post that they did grind up the berries and make their own little flour and used it to like coat um, chicken, to make like a fried, a baked fried chicken. And so there's lots, it's really useful. And again, it's that lower gluten content, you're gonna have less reactivity. And so it's a really good um, product to add to our einkorn line. There is a huge einkorn line. We have einkorn um, like waffle mixes and baking mixes and uh, noodles, like the spiral noodles, like when you make that like noodle salad. Um, there's lots of einkorn products that we already have. So this was really cool and um, super popular because it did sell out at convention. So if it's something that you're interested in getting, you're gonna have to wait a little while and they'll get it back in stock as soon as they can. The other einkorn product that they released is the einkorn flake cereal. I did get this one because I do, the kids do like to eat cereal every now and again and I hate that they're eating so much sugar. So I did pick up a box of this. Everybody's tasted it, everybody loves it. It's um, again made out of einkorn, so it's got the lower gluten content, it's gonna have lower reactivity. It is sweetened with organic coconut sugar. Um, it's a really subtle sweetness. And so they're not gonna have that massive like sugar high, insulin, all that stuff going on when they eat it. Uh, it does also have a higher level of proteins and trace minerals because of the einkorn in it. So um, this is not sold out yet. If you remember, it's only $5.50, which is pretty comparable to an organic, um, you know, fancy cereal that most of the time I think are gross anyways. So I, I really like this one. And again, I did not have a reaction to this one either. So that's pretty cool. The orange blossom line was reformulated and they added some additional products. I have used the orange blossom face wash for a long time. You've heard me talk about it multiple times if you followed my videos. It is now completely 100 plant based. So that makes it totally vegan. It's important to a lot of people. Um, it helps you maintain healthy looking skin, it helps leave your skin soft, it cleans it really well, um, and it helps maintain the skin's natural moisture barrier. This, um, it's a small bottle, but it's super concentrated. So with, when I buy my orange blossom, I actually put it into like foaming soap dispensers and keep them in all the bathrooms. And just a little tiny bit, like I have um, little bottles are like about that big. And so I just put like that much in there, fill up the rest with distilled water, um, and that's what we used to wash our faces and it lasts forever. One bottle of that will last my house a year at least. I think I've, and I've been a member for two and a half years and I think I've only bought two bottles and I use it for parties when we're doing like the fun facial parties and stuff too. So it really lasts a really long time. And then they added this orange blossom charcoal soap. So charcoal is really good detoxifying for your skin. Um, it's good for all skin types. It helps promote healthier looking complexion and um, it smells like the orange blossom line, so that's pretty cool. It comes, um, these bar soaps, I love them. They, those are what I use. I use all different flavors, so I'm excited to try this new flavor. And yeah, our bar soaps are great. And then everybody was super excited about this. We have a few moisturizers um, in our product line, but this is the first one that's for orange blossom. It is a light refreshing moisturizer. I did not try this one on my face, but I did get to try this one. I had, at one point I was walking to the expo and no joke, I had like 36 different products on me. <laughs> I would just like put one here and put one here and I had oils going all up my arms because um, I just wanted to, to get the full experience. Um, it, this one does feel really good. This is probably one that I will try when I run out of my Art Light moisturizer because I, um, I don't need like the big, deep, heavy moisturizers. I use those at night sometimes, but for every day, I just use the light moisturizer. Um, it's supposed to soothe, soften, calm, and moisturize and improve the appearance of skin. And it's non-greasy, non-irritating, and non-comedogenic. And it is vegan friendly. So very cool about these additions to the orange blossom line. This is another new product line that they introduced. It's called Mira. And there's the Mira Luminous Cleansing Oil and there's a, then there's a Mira Hair Oil. And I did get both of them for Trinity. As I was showing her... I was texting her while I was sitting in convention and showing my daughter um, the new orange blossom line because we both love the orange blossom face wash. And she's like, but mom, my skin's been really dry lately. What do they have for dry skin? And I was like, oh, and then this popped up on the screen. I'm like, oh, well, it's convenient that you just asked that because here's something new. 
So this is a cleansing oil. The lady that presented it to us at convention said that this is um, using cleansing oil is really gaining popularity. And um, I can't remember what country she said it was an Asian country. And she explained that you're using oil to clean off oil. And so this one includes sandalwood, jasmine, rose, jojoba, and argan oil, which are all known to be amazing for skin. It's an oil-based cleanser that rids the skin of dirt, oils, and impurities, including makeup and water-resistant sunscreens. So that's really cool. It, um, you just rub it on your face, rub it in really good. Trinity tried it for the first time and she came out and she's like, I don't wanna stop rubbing my face. This feels really good. Um, it also has antioxidants to improve skin texture and appearance and it softens and moisturizes the skin. So once you're done massaging it in, you just rinse it with water, pat your face dry, you're good to go. Um, it's supposed to be really, really good and it's got Trinity's seal of approval so far. So that's really cool. And then the Mira Lustrous Hair Oil. This includes Argan, Marula, Manoy, um, and those are all in there to enrich hair and leave it soft and shiny. It improves manageability minimizes frizz and tangles and you can use it on wet hair or dry hair so you could put this in your hair after you wash it and you towel dry it um, to help as like a heat styling protectant you know or just if you're going to just let it dry naturally it'll help kind of get rid of the frizzes that way or if your hair is already dry you can use it and you know use it to smooth it down the lady that presented this one again um, she had really thick black curly hair and she had straightened her hair for this event and it looked beautiful. She said she's been using the mirror for about a month now trying it out and she really loved it. Trinity, um, as some of you know, has bleached her hair. She went from like, she went from a dark brown, almost black to bleaching it so that she could dye it a baby blue. And then after that, she dyed it neon green, think like tennis ball green. And so she really missed her curly Q texture because that really just made her hair straight. We've been on a mission trying to curl it to get the curl back. So we recently got it cut pretty short. We cut all the um, colored ends off and she's been doing lots of stuff trying to get her texture back, but was really happy with the results that she's gotten with this so far. And I, her hair looks great. So I'm glad that this, it was very convenient to be at convention and to be able to order these. The next one is an acne treatment. It is one that the FDA says that we can say what it's for, which is amazing. There's not very many products that Young Living has that we're allowed to say what they actually do. So this is maximum strength acne treatment. It contains salicylic acid from wintergreen, so it's not synthetic. It also has tea tree and manuka essential oils to help clear acne. It will prevent new acne blemishes, pimples, and blackheads. It has willow bark in it to improve the appearance of skin and smooth it out. Aloe and chamomile softens and moisturizes, and again, it's vegan friendly. Very excited about the new acne treatment. And the sunscreen. So we came out with a sunscreen last year at convention, but it was only SPF 10, which is actually perfectly adequate, but people are scared because it says 10 on it, and we're used to buying like the 150, which doesn't really do anything anyways. But they did reformulate this to make everybody happy, and they made it SPF 50. This did get the seal of approval um, and is recommended by the Skin Cancer Foundation. So that is huge. It will come in um, a box with that seal on it, which is really important. Um, it contains non-nano zinc oxide and it will protect the whole family. It prevents sunburns for all skin types, including sensitive skin. It is reef safe. So you can take this to Hawaii who just banned a bunch of different sunscreens um, that have ingredients that are killing their reefs. So this is cool. You can take this with you and it's 80 minutes water resistant and sweat resistant. So that's amazing. I'm excited about the sunscreen. Now for the Savvy line, you know, we released the Savvy makeup line last year. And so they just keep adding more and more amazing products. So this is primers. Um, really cool with the primers, they did one for oily skin and one for dry skin. So if you have oily skin, the mattifying primer will help kind of soothe, uh, control the shine and the oil. It smooths and blurs lines and evens the look of skin so that when you put your foundation on top, it's kind of like airbrushing. Um, it minimizes the looks of pores and fine lines. It cleanses the skin and reduces the appearance of blemishes and it has non-nano ingredients and it's non-comedogenic. I can never say that word. Comedogenic. Um, same thing for the hydrating primer for dry skin. It smooths conditions, hydrates and moisturizers, creates a smooth surface for your foundation 
it reduces shine and helps your makeup stick better, minimizes the looks of pores, and it has non-nano ingredients. And then this is something people have been begging for because all of our mineral makeup so far has been loose, which is kind of difficult to travel with and so forth. So this is the first time we have a pressed powder. It is lavender infused with coconut oil and shea butter for smooth application that bends and blends and it will build and it is vegan friendly. These colors are gorgeous. These are pretty true to color. So it's kind of like that smoky gray and the smoke gray purple and the ambition, timeless, elegant, chic and charm. I am super excited to, to try these out too. And new lipsticks. So our lipsticks that came out last year, I believe that those were tangerine infused. And then we have the lip glosses, which are what I use. And those are peppermint infused. These are cinnamon infused. So these have essential oils in them. These are also reformulated from the lipsticks that came out last year. You'll notice they look like the ones that came out last year look more like traditional lipsticks. Um, this is a new style for us. These are all new colors. This picture of colors is not really true. So I would do some um, research, look up some slides. People were doing like the arm marks so that people could see what the colors really were. I tried on the siren at the convention and I'm not a big lipstick person. I didn't even have any other makeup on my face, but I rocked that lipstick. Uh, the girl who was um, helping people pick out colors said that it's really good for all skin tones. And if you feel like you can rock a dark look, she recommends siren for everybody. And I loved it. It was a great color for me. They are very long lasting. I'll tell you, even when I was ready for it to come off, it was still on. It does have a velvety creamy texture. It, it did not um, make my lips flake, which is a big problem for me with a lot of products. And it is vegan friendly. So those are the new lipstick colors. And again, every color in this new line is darker than it appears on the screen right now. Then we have a new brush, the Savvy Minerals Kabuki brush. We did not have an amazing brush for, found, for our um, loose foundation. And so this brush is specially made to provide like a medium to heavy or medium to full coverage when used with the mineral makeup. It has high quality fibers that are made in Italy. These are family made brushes. This family started out, I don't know, like a hundred and something years ago, making really fine, fancy, handmade paintbrushes. And when the daughter took over, she was looking for ways that she could expand the family business and um, went into these makeup lines. So these are handmade, beautiful uh, makeup brushes. The whole line is, and i um, super excited about the Kabuki brush because I don't like the, I did not buy a YL foundation brush and I um, don't like the one that I ended up with. So this is one that I will be adding. So the few times that I wear makeup, I have the right brush for it. And then the Diamond Dust. So the Diamond Dust, the original one, came out last year. It is a setting powder for the mineral makeup. It's not required, but it's just something that kind of helps um, also give you like that airbrush look. You just brush it all over your face when you're done with your contouring and your blush and your bronzer and all the stuff that you're putting on. Um, but the problem with the Diamond Dust that came out last year is it had some shimmer. And some people don't want to look like um, vampires. <laughs> they don't want the shimmer. And so um, now they have a matte option. So that's really cool. Um, it absorbs excess oil. It gives skin an airbrush look. It does prolong the wear of foundation. And it is vegan friendly. And mascara. So they released mascara last year. It came out after a convention. Um, and when it, I think it was like October or something when it came out, maybe September. And when it came out, we shut down their website. So many people got on to order at 8 a.m. that the website crashed. It was a big deal. And then the mascara came, and it was not up to Young Living standards. The whole batch um, just didn't work. So they pulled it all. They gave us all refunds, and they reformulated it. So this is the mascara. It's released. I have it in my hot little hands, and it is amazing. So it's formulated with lavender essential oil. It Because it has the lavender in there, it nourishes the lashes while it's helping make them appear longer, fuller, and darker. It is long lasting. It glides on smoothly. It won't smudge or run. It's made with natural ingredients and it's clinically tested for ocular irritation and it is safe for sensitive eyes. I got this on Friday when my friend stood in line for four hours for her products. I wore it on Saturday. Um, 
I was shocked because Saturday was a super tearful day at our main um, assembly that day. It was a lot to do with our foundations, um, our philanthropic foundations that Young Living helps to run. And one of them is Hope for Justice, which is trying to bring an end to human trafficking. And um, listening to the stories and listening to the CEO Ben Cooley talk about it, I just had tears streaming down my face. And then Mary was up there and talking and the boys were up there and talking and they were showing pictures of Gary Young and it was just super emotional. And I was sure that I was going to have mascara all down my face. I was like, yay, this is the first day that you picked to wear the new, ma new mascara. I didn't. I never had mascara down my face at all. It was amazing. Um, and it did last all day. It was still on that night. And so I'm excited. I am so excited to have a mascara option finally that I know is safe. It doesn't have any crazy toxic chemicals. And um, yeah, it's great. I recommend you try it. Trinity's excited too. I brought one home, not thinking that, you know, of course she's going to want one. And so I had to order her one too. They're still in stock. So get it before they run out. And then the multitaskers. So they came out with a dark multitasker last year and people started doing some crazy things with it. They, you know, the uh, VP of the Savvy Mineral Line did not think that the multitasker was going to go over as well as it is. And I think it's actually like the number two or three prop, maybe it's like number five product out of everything that we have Savvy. Um, and it was one of the most popular. So people add the dark brown to their lighter lip glosses to make it darker. They're using it to fill in their brows. They're using it to cover um, grays at their roots. Um, just anything you can think of to do with it, using it for contouring, using it to darken up any of the other colors, people are doing it with this. People are so creative. So they decided to come out with some different colors. Now they have options, the light, the medium, and the tan, and then of course the dark brown. And so I'm just glad to see them adding some more versatile things to our product lines. Pretty cool. And that was the last thing that they announced at convention. Those are all the new products. If you have any questions or you want to see any of the things that I picked up, feel free to give me a call, give me a text, send me a message, and I would love to meet up with you. And if it's just for coffee, for dinner, you just want to chat, we haven't seen each other in a while, give me a call. I would love to let you know all about what we got going on. Thank you guys very much for checking in and you have a good night.